everyone, I'm Emily here from HALS. Today's video tutorial is going to be focused on how to create your own website through HALS. Let's go ahead and get started. First, we want to make sure that we're logged into our profile. After this, we'll simply go to HALS Pro. When we land on the HALS Pro homepage, you'll want to come to the left-hand side under the Grow tab. Here, the second item, we'll select Website Services. It is this page where we can select a preset template to choose from for our custom website. I'm going to go ahead and choose the Silk template. This will give me the preview of my template here. If I like this theme, I would just simply hit Choose this theme. After I do this, the next screen will confirm some basic contact details for my business. My business name, phone number, email address, and address. Here we want to make sure that your physical address is as accurate as possible. This will help boost your natural SEO marketing efforts within your area. Here we'll hit next and upload your logo. Choose our logo, open the file, and then hit next. Choose our brand colors, and then we can lastly choose a font that we'd like to pair for our website. After we've selected the font we'd like to use, simply select Done, and that we'll go ahead and implement those changes to our page and custom site. At the bottom, again, we can confirm to see our business details and contact information. And we can see that our website has text and images, and if we'd like to make any changes, we can simply edit any of these areas. I can see that I would like to add a services page to my tabs up here. So to do this, it's really easy. We'll come to the left-hand side and just go to the Pages tab and hit the plus button. So to add a service page, I could select one of these different page templates. I'm going to choose one that has some of my product project categories in it as well. I'm going to create a services page here. Just type that in, hit save, and that'll populate here on this left side. Now to get that to show up here, I simply will go to the edit header and I can change my header here and make edits to the navigation. To add the services, I simply select it and then I can drag it to the spot I'd like to have it in the order for my page. If I want to change the layout for my logo or my pages tabs, I can do that here. Or if I want to make any adjustments to the logo size, I can do that here as well. Then hit save. Then I would save my page and publish. My services page has been added. We are actually on the services page, and this is what that page would look like. If I wanted to edit any of the content in here, this paragraph, I can actually use my description, house description from my profile by selecting the left-hand tab, and then hit save. After I do this, again, save and publish, and it's as easy as that, that my description is added to my services page. If I'd like to make any changes to the images and the banner, I can change the layout here or the background. I could choose none, do a color, or an image. I can choose from the projects I have or upload or choose a link. I'm going to use this image or this project here and select this top image here to use for my banner photo. Now if I'd like a little bit of movement for my website, we have a feature called Parallax that you can select here, and this will give my website a little bit of movement. Again, any changes I do, I want to make sure I save those and publish those to action that out. It's as easy as this to get started. Go ahead and take some time and give it a try yourself. 
Be sure to check out some of our other tutorials to learn about all the great project management tools that House Pro has to offer. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let us know and we can help support you with that. Have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in.